The next type of sequencing that we use is ion torrent sequencing. The ion torrent sequencing is a part of is uh, uh, GS the, the NGS the next generation sequencing or this is also part of high throughput sequencing because this is also very fast it is semiconductor uh, sequencing it's also known as semiconductor sequencing it's kind of based on the semiconductor based chip model so what it is it detects the proton ions H plus ions released when the DNA polymerase adds a base the moment DNA polymerase adds a base a proton ion gets released that's the idea so the number of bases they add the number of proton ions that that will be increased in that well wherever the process is going on in that well the concentration of proton ion will increase the moment they continue to add the base now for individual addition of separate bases the pattern of the proton ion change is also different that's why we can mark whether they add base a g t or c right so no fluorescent is involved no fluorescent tag is involved no light is involved signal is detected by a ph change because as we know Proton concentration is directly related to the change in the pH. So if you measure the pH change in the chip, we measure uh, the quant the like that is going to tell us that yes, sequencing is going on. It is faster, it is cheaper, but slightly less accurate compared to the Illumina. It is cheaper than Illumina uh, because we can produce this uh, ion torrent sequencing chip with the semiconductor based system because we already have uh, the the workflow of this system. That's why we utilize that and we made it cheaper, it faster, but less reliable, less accurate compared to Illumina. So we will see how exactly we, we sequence uh, the DNA with the help of the ion torrent sequencing now. The very first step is the DNA extraction and library preparation, right? So what we need to do, we isolate the genomic DNA, which is big, lengthier in size. We make fragments of it and this fragmentation is absolutely random. And we know that we do that random fragmentation in case of shotgun sequencing. We do that in case of uh, any kind of next generation sequencing method. For sequencing a larger, lengthier DNA, we always need to fragmentize it, right? So we'll fragment it. After the fragmentation is done, we add adapter uh, DNA sequence. Adapter is nothing but uh, like a barcode, right? What is a barcode? When we read a barcode, it gives a signal, unique signal, to one particular product. So here individual fragments of the DNA are, ta are targeted as an individual signal, right? So that when after the sequencing is done, when we compile the data in the computer, the computer can mark which fragment responds to which adapter. So that's why the adapter tagging is important. It's just like a barcode for identification. So adapter tagging is done and uh, then we start to sequence right we start to make more and more copies of the new strand and the more and more new strands that we are making we are making uh, more strands so more dna uh, are being built here and we build a sequence library in this case called sequencing library so once uh, the sequencing library is done which can be you know uh, we make multiple copies of the dna in vitro dna replication or uh, pcr based technology we can use or you can use transposes to make multiple copies of the dna then what we do here in this case of ion torrent sequencing we particularly follow pcr based amplification model and we do the immersion pcr so basically we have beads the beads have uh, some uh, interactive molecules uh, sticking out of the beads basically those are so you can see the stick the, these are the beads so beads have something sticking out right so this sticking out molecules these are oligos which has sequence complementarity to the adapters of our uh, of our target dna fragments so that the adapters of the target dna fragment binds to this oligos that are coming out of the beads and the beads and the oligos altogether along with the fragments of the DNA are emulsified in oil and we run the PCR polymerase chain reaction as it is emulsified in oil and we do the multiplication or amplification we call it uh, emulsion uh, amplification or emulsion PCR okay and then after it is done uh, we, we continue to do so beads in the chip well with flooding on uh, of a dntp right so basically inside the well we give the beads we give the oil we, we provide everything necessary for the dna replication so we give the primer uh, and we also provide them with the dntps right and once the new dntps are being added every single time a new dntp is added in this case let's say the yellow colored one is the primer the first new dntp is the green one in this case this is a 
ATP is added. Once it is added, it releases a proton H plus and that can be detected by the detector in here. And we run this process for one base at a time. So first we'll add only uh, ATP. So when we add ATP in individual wells, we check the spike in the proton concentration due to the addition of one ATP. So let's say in some well we get only one spike that means one A is being added. If we see two spikes that means two adenosines being added. If we see four spikes or equivalent to four spikes that means continuous four A ATP, four uh, adenosines are being added. So based on the, the, the amount of proton ions released, H plus ions released, based on that amount, the concentration of proton ion change, we can not only say which base is added, but also can tell you about the number of bases that are added. And the fourth step is the data analysis. So what we have, we have read clusters. The reading clusters are done in individual wells after adding individual bases. Uh, again, the, the process is same. In Illumina, after adding individual bases, a color is generated and we take a photo. Color is generated, we take a photo and the computer analyzes them. In this case, after addition of individual bases, there's a spike in proton ion concentration, which is uh, measured by change in pH. And that data is analyzed now for individual clusters in all the wells in addition of all the bases that we have done from starting to the end and a computer analyze everything assembles the data and give us the full length sequence of the DNA that we worked that is the target DNA here that is all regarding the ion torrent sequencing okay uh, it is semiconductor based sequencing as I told you this sequencing is uh, only conducted for small genomes and smaller panels like cancer panels where we don't have all the genes involved but only few genes involved okay it is uh, faster than illumina it is cheaper than illumina but slightly inaccurate compared to illumina okay that's iron torrent for you